Welcome back to my let's play of uh, Ravenport uh, from scratch from Farming Simulator 19 and now that the 1.2 uh, patch is out uh, I started editing the terrain a little bit and we kind of made our place into a real farm like place uh, we had some we have some dirt road going on here I think the mod works great uh, it really does it will set you back some it will cost you some money but now that you can smooth the terrain it looks more um, you don't have these edges anymore I could have smoothed this out a little bit more uh, also I've been playing around with the textures and I started noticing when you when you uh, smooth the ground the grass disappears so I created a new field up here which I'm gonna grow grass in it as you can tell and I'm just gonna bale it still growing now uh, I got um, a loan of uh, 20,000 still on, uh, on the bank and I've got a few horses trained up again uh, three of them are almost 40,000 and uh, two of 22,000 uh, did some additional missions in order to pay for the landscaping and it also seems that the patch resolved the issue with the eggs uh, now the eggs seem to be spawning on the right place so um, yeah, that's basically it I'm thinking about uh, maybe doing a mission or uh, I've also noticed that the transport jobs uh, there's now th there was a transporting job that uh, had a reward of almost 2000 so they seem to be increasing I could do some bailing with my own equipment but it will get me another but I think field 9 is a bit pretty big field but it's okay um yeah so uh maybe i'll sell off one horse uh just in order to get rid of the loan and i'm thinking about buying this additional field next to our field so i could expand the grass field uh, and make this one one field just plow this also uh but i it's better to do this when you have uh, well first of all I need to sell the horses in order to get the money but if this barley is actually fertilized and fully grown then I can make use of it and just uh, uh, get myself a harvester and also get the weed for free or get the crops for free uh, so the grass it has to grow a little bit uh, I'm gonna train up some horses and the next day I'm gonna take the grass out I just I just skip one day uh, and I'll train the horses and see you on the next day I just noticed that there's a high price for eggs just around the corner in the restaurant so I'm gonna grab all my eggs and go over there now notice this button over here if you if you do the tag place then it becomes visible on the on the map and in the world and you know where to to drop it so i'm quickly gonna go get all these uh x in the, in the car show you one thing I did not notice in uh, FS 2017 you could actually uh, rotate the object object uh, while holding it so this is a very good way to put your stuff in a neat side-by-side uh, -side way in the car and also now if you uh, just 
release the object then you not you not throw it you have, in order to throw it you have to push the right button mouse button so uh, yeah, it's it's kind of neat we didn't have that in uh, FS 2017 okay uh, let me see Oh yeah, and uh, I stumbled upon this uh, video from uh, Mr. Silly P, who explains the maintenance system in the game. And it's quite interesting. It seems that the maintenance, uh, the amount of wear and tear on your vehicle, is related to the amount of dirt that's set in the menu. Uh, he got a video on it on YouTube, or you can check out my website farmsim.com and. Uh, see the post from the video from Mr. Silipi. I still have to figure out how much eggs are in the box. Uh, and I must say, I, I think the landscaping system, that's terrific. That's, uh, I mean, that's just what all the people wanted and they came up came up with it so fast I think it's great great step forward people still complaining about the games the bugs in the game and of course if you're on console you have to wait for the patches but uh, we are uh, playing on the PC so we don't have this problem but it seems to work great now did I stack it high enough? I don't know. Now you can either uh, fasten your attention belt from here, or you can go in the car and uh, select. In this case, it's L on the keyboard, and they'll they'll fasten. We're at seventy-one chickens now, so this is kind of an improvement. Because you started out with uh, 41, but selling chickens is not really profitable. They will only get you 40, no, 10, 10 dollars for a chicken because of the transportation cost and everything. So that got us a uh, 27 2700 I guess something like that and uh, now we have to take into account that the food provided for the chickens also cost money the chicken weed I cleared out a nice little path here so it looks more like an entrance I've trained up the horses, um, so I'm going to speed up time and see you next time. So, and it's morning again. And, uh, no, I figured out there's there's enough uh, oat and hay for the horses to do one more training session. So I can get them almost up to 50,000, these ones. And I think I trained this up above 30 thousand and then I have enough to buy uh, this uh, 21 field here it is uh, 150 almost thousand dollars and and I started doing the calculations for uh, maybe leasing a harvester and get the weeds off but uh, it's not it maybe it's not even worth it so I just plow it under and make grass of it and connect the two fields and then have enough plenty of grass for for some uh, baling operations uh, in fact this grass is uh, almost is ready to harvest it says it's funny how it says also that it is uh, fertilized I've not I've just plowed it that's it I've not done any fertilization and I seeded it with a seeder which only has seeds in it so no fertilizer there so it's funny how it says 100% uh, fertilized yeah but 
I think uh, we can uh, take the truck there and do some mowing. See how my tractor is becoming a little bit dirty. I have the on my settings. I have the dirt, uh, the dirt on uh, normal. That means uh, this is the speed at which the machinery becomes dirty. Uh, I think that's that's okay. But uh, looking at the shop for a sprayer or for uh, a water jet machine. Um, I don't even know where to find it. it must be over here. Uh, it, naturally, it will be on miscellaneous. I don't even know where to find it. Is it on the build? Oh, of course, it's on the buildings. Yeah, that's it. Sorry. So it's a uh, four and a half thousand, and we really don't need all this other equipment. But it's a bit expensive, so probably have to take up some missions and then I can pay for it. Yeah, let's take the tractor and do some uh, rust work. As you know, farmers they start off real early in the morning. Maintenance of this tractor is uh, maybe two thirds now. Uh, I haven't noticed really any problems. There's five hours on the clock, which isn't a lot. I think I can use this tractor for a while. And also, I think it makes economical sense to use the tractor uh, until you really don't need it anymore. Um, let's see. Now I'm curious to see if uh, if you remember from last time we had some problems mowing the grass because of the the terrain wasn't really smooth we had some uh, there was some parts of the field that we couldn't mow somehow but now it seems to be okay because I smoothed out the terrain that's why also the grass is gone because if you smooth it out there's just a no grass texture, but no, no grass. I think it, w it was this part where I couldn't couldn't mow the grass. As you can see now, it's perfectly fine. Now in Evans 2017, you could just leave the grass over there and wait for the grass to grow for a second time and then just mow the grass again and that way uh, you there was a uh, it was a lot less energy to tether up the grass or to dry it to make hay of it and it's just more efficient to do it twice uh, but um, I don't know if it also works in FS 2019 I'm just gonna go over this grass. There's no systematic here, I'm just driving in circles. I should have put the weight in front, but it seems to be working right like this. Well, I think the game is really shaping up uh, with the patches and I've already seen some videos of people posting uh, great mods there's there's a lot of mods uh, on the way there's also a lot of new placeables 
I've seen some uh, people do all kinds of you could do I think you can now download uh, bicycles and sheds and all the stuff in order to make a make your farm look really good there's not in the stand there's not a that's not giants mods um, and also people seem to have some problems with some mods not being uh, genuine and um, usually therefore I stick with the giants mods for now because some mods will just uh, destroy your save game and also there are some sites that you know it's not really working out for some people I think the greatest site for FS19 is uh, mod hub I don't know but uh, I do is just stick with the in-game mods guess I'll do the same I'll just leave the grass over here and go over it the next time see if the grass will grow back or if I need the money I'll bail it up uh, can we do this piece of land still yep If you get too close to the other field, then uh, you will get a message saying it's not your field, you cannot mow it. No, actually, I it's better to leave it and go for over it the next time. But I'm curious to see how much. Uh, grass this will hold so I'm just gonna take this uh Fault injure. Now I've heard some stories of people saying that like in real life you have to take out all the safety pins and you have to do quite some there's quite some work involved in order for the equipment to be ready. Uh, we just hook it on and that's it. Of course in the real world we'll just hook up hoses and uh, you can see the hoses connected in uh, FS, uh, nine, two, uh, FS19 I think if you look over here you can, clear, can clearly see that there's something connected which is pretty good also this drive shaft is uh, turning Let's see showed that in uh, another video of mine also that's pretty cool I think in real life I wouldn't want to stand so close to this stuff back and forth and it will collect on the left side and therefore you can do let me just lower this and therefore you take everything 
there, there's a system systematic way to do this. So you start from the right side. Now when you go back, you, you place it on the same hand that you came, uh, with the same name you started with. And that's about high enough for the baler to get over it. Because if you make, make it too big and there's too much grass in there, uh, you'll, you'll struggle with the baler getting uh, over the uh, grass. Also, I like how the engine is uh, speeding up when you turn on the equipment. Also, seen some videos about uh, people modifying the buildings, the objects. There's one this particular case where somebody modded this uh, trailer building that we have here on the field as well. Uh, so you can sleep in it, so it acts as an actual building, an actual uh, house. And also notice when I drive over the other field, field 21, I'm not destroying any crops because you can only destroy the crops if you own the field. see me banning so I'll just finish this up and I'll see you next time. So I put the grass into uh, some uh, rows again and now it's time to put the baler. picker upper correctly there's still some grass left over in the machine somehow you cannot unload bills I think below 2000 yeah, I'm not sure okay so we're gonna turn it on and lower it The problem with the round baler is you have to unload it. And I have to figure out the buttons again. Let me see. Okay. It would have been nice if we could borrow a harvester from somebody. 
without leasing it because the leasing cost is just too high. Or maybe I could, you know, start some oat farm. But the cheapest harvester out there, it's, I think it's uh, eighty thousand. The one without a cabin, and then you still need the header. It's maybe twenty, twenty thousand. So you at least have to spend one hundred thousand dollars uh, for harvester, which at the moment I think is not really economical. I've got all this equipment to make bales, so it's gonna be boring after a while doing all the bales and not doing any farming. But at the moment, it's the most economical thing to do. I think it makes the most sense now. Now, with the seasons mod in FS17, then the grass would simply just go away after a while which is kind of natural it would decay uh, but with the uh, FS19 it's not the case it, it will just be uh, on your land forever so it makes more sense to, to do a good job and take all the grass and also in FS17 uh, when you had logs lying around and you just had too many logs lying around it would sometimes it would end up uh, uh, give you problems with your computer processing power careful here it's already 4,000 usually I just back up a little bit oh now look how my interior of the tractor is also becoming really dirty well we'll, we'll end up buying a uh, a washer in the end anyway probably because as seen from the video from Mr. Silipi it also affects the maintenance now I don't say I don't know if I say this correctly it affects the the amount of dirt that's set the speed well, at which the equipment uh, gets dirty that affects the maintenance but I don't know if it really affects the amount of if you if you leave your equipment dirty will there be more maintenance required that's that's something I still don't haven't figured out maybe some of you guys know the answer because in the seasons mod you actually had to with the seasons mod you actually had to clean your uh, stuff your equipment uh, and I mean, did you guys know that Season Mod is also coming for FS19? I've seen somebody posting in the forums. I guess it was the creator of Season Mod. I don't know his name, but he's he done an awesome job with the last Season Mod. Now, for you guys who don't know what Seasons is, Season Mod in FS17, it was kind of a mod that changes the whole game and it made it more harsh more more grindy but it also made it much more realistic because now you had seasons that mean that meant for example that in the winter you had snow there was a real snow was what they call a snow mask on the map on the map so you you couldn't uh, harvest anything or seed anything and also there was a uh, it included temperatures ground temperatures and air temperature so some plants might not even be it might not even be possible to plant them once they're if, if it's below a certain uh, temperature 
and uh, for example for bailing it changed the game also because now you had to actually keep your bales dry and they, they would decay for uh, over a period of time unless you wrap them up and if you wrap them up it will take time in order to produce uh, silage because this fermenting process in real life it takes some time so it, it, it might it might even take half a year for it to be silage which is pretty realistic and that's almost done I haven't counted the bills let me see we got one two three four five that's about the same amount uh, which we had last time now do keep in mind this this field was supposed to be fertilized I don't know how but it said on the information screen fertilized and there's uh, a thousand in the baling equipment liters of grass but I can't. I probably can't get it up to 2,000 anymore with the leftovers. So I'll just maybe there's some leftover from uh, from in the outside fields here. I think if we can get it up to 2,000, we can offload uh, half a bill. Ah, uh, there's there's not enough grass in there. I'll just leave it as it is. Put the baler away. it in, in the bushes okay maybe that's not so good idea for maintenance maintenance wise okay uh, let's take the rubber I think it was a video from uh, squad he made kind of a story like video whereby he said he was supposed to he's supposed to uh, found this tractor inside the bushes and took over an old farm and then he supposedly found the uh, Fiat, the old one tractor in inside the bushes and they had to start it and they somehow they had to it was a, it was a very funny movie So I will uh, wrap these bills up and let's, let's look at the prices. I think it's not economical for us to sell, uh, sell it now because the price is very low. So we'll just uh, put them in a corner somewhere and collect them later. I think I'll just drive this bill someplace else put them in the corner and then uh, put them over here and we'll collect them another time and we'll sell them another time I'm gonna train up the horses uh, one more time and then I think it's time to buy uh, the other field see you next time now when uh, uh, training up the horses I, I guess I sh could show you a, uh, a small easter egg that's in the game that's also in FS17 I have to train up the horses anyway and it's all the way at the, the southern eastern part of the map 
And I think it's a reference to the way that uh, computer games evolve. I know it's close by a uh, waterfall. And I know about this waterfall and uh, on the on the east south, southern eastern part of the map. Someday I would like to own all these other fields. Although it seems that this uh, piece of land is almost unusable, only oh, buff. Ow, that hurt. That really hurt. Uh, this this part of the map is actually unusable. Maybe it's usable for um, trees, cutting down trees. I've also been watching the Kentucky Farmer of videos and he was actually struggling to get this away uh, to get rid of this uh, mess here which you can't actually Well, uh, it should be over here It's over there, I see it. Yeah. It's kind of stuck now. Can you free? Uh oh. Now I know if you uh, load up the game, then you start on the beginning frame. So you can always get rid of when, when you stop, you can always get out. But seems my third person is uh, a bit strange you now. <laughs> I'm, I'm really stuck now. Or I can go to the vehicle and then I'm hopefully it's good again. But uh, why? Oh, that's it. <laughs> I'm just stuck here. Now you can see it over there with the small shed. This is a gaming machine. A gaming machine. And I would love to take a closer look, but. Oh man, I also have to get the horse back. If I'm stuck, I have to get the horse back. Oh, well, that's it. <laughs> okay, let's, let's take the car and get over there. go by horse so I don't know the road too much
There must be a way to get up there. I've also visited this uh, church-like structure up there on the mountain, or on the hill. Let us get up from here. These trees, they look pretty straight. You could probably get some money from it. But naturally, first you have to buy the land. Now, was it up here or... Yeah. Jet Set Farming 2148. And somebody smashed it with hammer. And the hammer is actually an object. Oh. I think I'll take the hammer and put it in my, in my truck. You never know, we might need it, we might need it in the future. <laughs> is this a reference to the game being broken? Somebody broke the game. Screen and it is uh, disappearing. I was planning on taking the hammer, but I guess I'll have to put it inside of the machine. Oops. It's kind of nice. I think it looks better than. The FS17 one. But they had the same uh, bend here. No hammer here. The guys did. Uh, let's start playing uh, the farming simulator uh, games now for the first time. In FS17 you had the golden nuggets you could find in the map, but there's no golden nuggets anymore here. And if you collected the golden nuggets, you got uh, 1 million, which was basically a free farm. Now let's get further back and train up the other horse. So guys if you if as you can tell from my bank account I sold already two horses and I'm gonna so sell these two and then I have only one left which I would like to uh, level up all the way. Uh, but as I'm here I'm gonna sell these these and then I have enough money for to buy field 21 and then uh, maybe I can take two new horses with me and let's load it up Let's get back to farm and 
we are going to buy uh, field 21 now there's some strategic considerations now with this amount of money to buy a field but we could also uh, get new equipment or get better equipment I think the uh, best part now is to just uh, well, or either we could save it up and, and get some more money and buy an even bigger field but as uh, field 21 is pretty close to uh, our farm we can expand the uh, terrain and make it into a one big field so far the chicken coop is not making us so much money but the uh, horse business is really good profitable business uh, I did some missions along on the in between the horse training um, those can make you some money but I mean my experience is that the fertilization missions there they can make you the most money uh, but they, there are some missions which are actually a lot of work and you don't get a lot of money for it So let's see what we have. Um, yeah. So there's 170 in the bank. We have still have some uh, a loan of a 10, so I will repay this one. It's fine, and we'll buy the field next to our farm. This is uh, already harvested by me from a mission, and I guess you know renting, uh, leasing a harvester isn't uh, isn't so profitable because you have to lease the stuff and uh, and the return on the field is not that much. So I guess I'll I'll keep it. I'll just uh, buy it straight out with nothing on the field and just uh, make a grass field out of it and. I guess uh, that will uh, end up this episode. And I guess I'll see you next time.